Well, you've heard of shore lunches. We're not having one today. We're having one on a sandbar off of Belize here. We're way out about a mile or two from St. George's Key Resort, and we've had uh, an incredible barbecue way offshore. Got a bunch of my friends here, and we've just had some chicken and shrimp kebabs, and uh, oh, did I forget? Dessert. Mm, thank you, thank you. Now, this is what I call service. Thank you very much. Ah, sad. I got a set of eyes here. <laughs> anyway, folks, this is the ultimate here in Belize. We've been doing some uh, trolling for big fish. Uh, we were back in the flats today catching all kinds of fish. It's just a lot of fun. I'm so glad you can join us. We're going to have a lot of fun. Let's go fishing. Coming up on today's show, Bob visits St. George's Key Resort. Located just off the coast of Belize, this one-mile stretch of island hosts a variety of fishing opportunities, and Bob and his guests take a go at all of them. Whether it's blue water fishing, flat fishing, or reef fishing, St. George's Key Resort has it all. Stay tuned. Oh, my! <laughs> Oh, here we go. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get ready, get ready. Here it comes. Whoa, he's got it. <laughs> oh, man. That is a big rainbow. Oh, yeah. That thing is a monster. Look at that big laker. Look at the size of this fish. The Real Fishing Show with Bob Izumi. <laughs> Whoa, he's a jumper. Awesome, girl. Look at that. Yeah. Woo! Look up, boys. Whoa. All right. Here, Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, oh no! Oh, that's a nice one. All right. Look at that. Hey. The right. Metal Fishing <laughs> is sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water, and Tim Hortons. That's what I call real fishing. No, it's amazing. We've been doing the show now for 27 years and I've always wanted to come down here to Belize fishing and uh, there are so many opportunities. When we first hooked up with uh, St. George's Key Resort, they said, uh, you know, you can fish the flats, of course for bonefish, tarpon, permit. You can fish the reefs or you can do some... Uh... Okay, fish on, fish oh, on, fish, fish, on. on. fish on, fish on. All right. Wayne, go for it. Oh, just pulled Chloe in the water. Okay. Saw him, got it? Yeah, got, got it. Oh, good one. All righty. It's on, right? It's on? No, it's off. It's lost? Oh, it's no. Oh, no. Man. You buy many you still long, man, right? I wonder what that was. Maybe a king park rail, no one knows. Yeah? Yeah. Gave me oh. a, oh. It gave me a good shot in the belly. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have a bruise for Jay when I go back, <laughs> show her. Well, before I was so <laughs> nicely interrupted, um, you know, for all these years I've wanted to come down to Belize fishing and, and here we are finally down here and, uh, you know, with the flats, the reef and the uh, blue water fishing, you've got so many options down here. It really is a fisherman's paradise, folks. Now, if we could only land one, that'd be another story. All right. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, we're hooked up. We're down here in beautiful Belize and uh, doesn't feel like a real big fish. I, I got a pretty meaty outfit. As you can see, this is a big TLD 50 two-speed Shimano. Alrighty. I hope it's a grouper. It was awfully good for supper. Got heavy, heavy braided line on here, so. All right. 
righty. There it is on the surface. I don't know, it looks kind of whitish, silvery. What is that? Ah, yeah. Cuda? I don't think it's a grouper. Small cuda? Oh, he's. Okay. Look at those teeth. Okay, look at those teeth, guys. Don't let him get too close to your shorts, Bob. You'll see that school of minnows there, and he'll go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go, guys. All righty. We're going to release that one? Put him in the cooler, man. Put him in the cooler. It's the first fish. All right. All right. He's going yeah. in the cooler. <laughs> so you eat okay. barracuda here, then. We have broke the ice. Claude, we broke the ice. What do we got here? Another cuda? Let me, go, let me get the chips off my face. <laughs> it was during the lunch break, and as you can well guess, Bob is heavy into the lunch break, so I was closer to the rod here. Of course, it's... <laughs> cuda expert. Cuda expert. Hey, wait, I want to try something. <laughs> oh, I got to try these. You want to try that The lip grips. Yeah. Well, last one, we did a nice little release. Let's see if this works. There we go. Look at that. All right. There you go, Mr. Cuda. Oh, yeah. Look at that. When we come back, more fishing the barrier reef off beautiful Belize. Closed captioning is brought to you by BoaterExam.com. Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. If you spend enough time on the water, sooner or later you'll catch a tagged fish. Most often, it's a thin spaghetti tag located somewhere in the dorsal area. These are carefully inserted by various fishery departments and volunteers. There's no harm involved, and the tags remain in place for life. Measurements and other statistics are recorded for each fish, corresponding to an individually numbered tag. When released, they play a vital role in research. Growth rates, overall health, and where they end up are the concerns. Steelhead, for instance, are great travelers, as much as 30 miles in a single day. When tagged fish are kept, harvest rates are monitored. Catch and release data is equally important. It's up to the individual angler to follow through, and it's just this easy. There's an email address on every tag. Send the tag number, length, weight, and location of capture. Size approximations will do if it's catch and release. The system works as some fish have been recaptured several times over a span of years. How important is research? In 2009, the collapse of the Fraser River salmon run was front page news. During the same year, the world-class brown trout population in Lake Ontario dropped by 90%. Simply put, you can't fix a problem if you don't know the cause. Okay, we're hooked up and ready to rock and roll here, folks. We got some manhandling equipment here. This big TLD 50 Shimano. <laughs> there ain't no fish safe around Belize with equipment like this. Not at least a barracuda. We're on a barracuda splinge, splurge today. Where is he? Yeah, lots of kudas. Lots of kudas today. Oh, I got them on the surface there. Look at that. Kicking up a storm. That's a grouper though. Yeah, that's it. All righty, we got a grouper. Uh-oh. Tastier eating. Floating, huh? I wanted, some, uh, I wanted some variety with that barracuda. Now we got it. Oh, yeah. What kind of grouper is that? That's a strawberry grouper. Strawberry grouper. Oh, that's a pretty thing. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, yeah. Strawberry color, too. Look at that. All right. Wow. Wow, that is a beautiful hey, fish. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. 
Look, there's a couple of teeth on there too. You can see those. Yeah, I was gonna jaw, lift them like a lot, like a bass. Here, we can grab that uh, tech tool there. And you can just. I gotta see if it's moving right now. Got her? Yep. There we go. Okay. Good okay, stuff. Look at that. Very cool. Belly hook. Yep. There we go. Oh, look at it. It changes color. Right? Yeah. Changed color very quickly. Very quickly. Wow. All right. Good stuff. Wow, there's some fine eating there, Wayne. That's it. That's good eating. Yeah, let me, let me see how, how heavy. Uh, yeah. Good stuff. What a pretty fish. While in Belize, I was able to visit this local aquarium that features many of the sea creatures native to the area. What a treat to see a glimpse into the underwater world of Belize, which is so famous for fishing and diving. Though my strawberry grouper was pretty to look at, check out its cousin, the Goliath grouper, and see what a fierce predator it truly is. Okay, supper time. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, Bob and guest Derek Strube fish for the Silver King, the tarpon. Oh my! <laughs> First bone fish, and we're in Belize. I'm with Derek Strube. We got a whole group at St. George's Key Resort here in Belize, and this flat fishing, trolling, reef fishing, they've got it all. Glad you could join us. All righty. Broke that 40 pound like nothing. Nice snook, yeah, not. Okay, oh, nice one. In the Berkeley hollow body, buddy. You got the hollow belly on? Berkeley hollow belly, yeah, chartreuse. All right, I was snagged up in the tree. Oh, oh. no! We are not having good luck today. That was a nice one. How big was that? Nice snook. What do you got? Oh. Right. Oh, big one. Nice tarpon. Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh. You lost it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not giving you mouse to mouse. <laughs> I am not oh gonna Oh my give, god, that thing was huge! I am not gonna give you mouth to mouth. Oh man. That thing was as big as me! <laughs> oh Brickly Hollow Belly destroyed it! Derek, tell me, how was it? That was an incredible fish. Oh my god, my heart's pounding out of my chest. That thing was as big as I was, Bob. You it's so hard to hook those guys though. Oh, I hit them twice as hard as I could too. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I couldn't believe it would have come out of the water. The thing was huge. Wow. Come on. Is it a big tarp? I don't or know. Something smaller. I don't know. Uh oh. This is definitely not a giant tarpon, is it? I don't know. No. Oh, a big catfish. Look at that. <laughs> a big catfish. Uh, how do you go from tarpon to that? Come on, let's pull them down there. You can show everybody at home what a catfish oh, looks like great. in Belize. After losing two giant tarpon. That's one way of getting you off the deck. Look at that catfish. Here we are in Belize catfishing. Hold them up. Oh, they a toothy critter. All right. <laughs> okay, what do I do with that? 
Oh, right, yeah. Nice, look at the wings on them. <laughs> nice release. I'd get rid of that, I didn't want to get stuck. Mm. Ah, huh. oh, rack my bait. Nice release. Hollow belly catfish. <laughs> oh, I thought I had another tarpon on. Okay, here we go. We are hooked up. <laughs> oh my. We are hooked up, folks, on a big tarpon. Okay. Been casting for how many hours? I hope I got them hooked good. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Woo, doggy! <laughs> the size of that thing. Oh, man. So this is our fifth tarpon that we've hooked. Oh, in two days. We finally got one hooked up now. And oh, boy. That thing is huge. Oh, he just come off. He just came off. After all that, we have tried so hard to get one of these. How big was that one, Richard? About a hundred pounder. Whew. Well, we all gave day. it a good shot. Didn't we? All day. <laughs> well, Bob, you can't win them all. When we come back, Bob tries his hand at deep blue water fishing. Stay tuned. Whoa. This tip of the week is sponsored by Coleman. Now, Mike, I know you do a lot of steelheading. What would you pick with a G. Loomis fly rod for, for steelhead fishing? Yeah. So my favorite uh, weapon, as I like to call it, or the favorite rod selection I use is the uh, G. Loomis Native Run GLX 10 foot 7 weight. And the reason I specifically choose this rod, uh, with the length, it allows me for better line control. To That's 10 foot 7? That's a 10 foot 7 weight. Oh, a 10 foot 7, seven weight. weight, okay. Yeah. And, uh, and so that rod is pretty specifically designed for steelhead fishing. Though. Absolutely. So we have the seven weight for the size of the fish. Right. So a lot of the steelhead I'm going after, you know, that five to eight pound range, very strong fish. Mm -hmm. The reason we're going with the 10 foot rod is I do a lot of nymphing for steelhead, mm -hmm. which uh, line control is very important while you're nymphing for a steelhead. So um, this rod is the perfect choice and uh, G. Loomis has actually developed this rod for that. Big River Fishing. And actually their native run series is specific to steelhead fishing. And how about matching the proper reel to the rod now? Would you use this reel? That would be the perfect selection that actually that is the reel I do use. A couple key things about this reel. One, with the 7.8, so it's basically rated for a 7 okay. weight or an 8 weight rod. So that would allow to balance the rod very nicely. More importantly for steelhead, we have a very smooth drag, right? And a very precisely set drag. And if you've ever caught a steelhead before, you'll know how quick they can run and how fast they can take off. So it's one thing to have a very smooth drag for them to take that line. More importantly, we need a very fast retrieve. So we have a mid to large arbor reel here. Mm -hmm. What that means is the size of the diameter that uh, you retrieve the line on. We can retrieve line fairly quick. And if you've ever caught a steelhead before in a larger body of water, you can see how far it can run, how fast it can run, and right. how quick it can turn around and come back to you. There's the benefit of a reel like this. East Fork reel and the uh, native run rod, the ultimate combination for steelhead. The best made in the world. All right. Oh. 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 Whoa, baby. Oh, man. Oh, oh no. Oh, it just broke my line. I, you know, this just seems to be my life story, Ward. I can't believe This it. trip has been the most amazing trip I've ever had and also the most heartbreaking trip. The amazing part is the fishing, the camaraderie, all the friends that have come down, you know? I mean, we've got a lot of, a lot of friends there at uh, St. George's Key Resort, but I have lost more fish on this show. All I can say is the fishing's been fantastic for me. Well, yeah, for everybody. Except myself. Did you see that fish that was, take that? That was phenomenal. Now, was that a, that was a King Mackerel? Okay. Whoa. 
And so the story continued, folks, on our Belizean adventure. And on that note, I couldn't catch anything. I couldn't catch a cold right now. I mean, that's it. I just got spooled. Oh, nice Stratic 2500 with no line on it. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. I couldn't catch anything today. But anyway, that's how, that's how fishing is. It's not about the catching, it's about the fishing. <laughs> oh, boy, what a time. Hey, we've had a great time here in Belize. All our friends are down here. We had a, uh, a lot of laughs, lots of adventure. And what can I say? I gotta go back home now and get some new line. That was brand new spider wire too. 40 pound test. <laughs> well folks, and that's why we call it the real fishing show. Sometimes I catch them, sometimes my guests do, sometimes we lose a lot of fish, but that's how it goes. Hey, we had a great time at St. George's Key Resort in Belize. Phenomenal fishing, awesome food, spectacular fun. What an amazing place. Glad you could join us. We'll see you next week right here for some more real fishing. Yeah, all right. <laughs> this is a big fish. That is a fish of a lifetime. <laughs> well, that is just amazing. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> that was too cool. Oh, man, what a fish. Look at that. <laughs>